Hey everybody, Kane Finance, and in today's video we're going to be talking about why invest in cryptocurrency. Now before we get into that, like, comment, and subscribe. It truly helps out the channel. We're almost to 90 subscribers. We're one off. If you can just help and just click that button, that red, shiny little rectangle button that says subscribe on it, I would really appreciate it. Now, so why should you invest in cryptocurrency? Well, first of all, 24-7 trading. The market is always open. There are some downtimes um, super late in the day for about an hour, hour and a half, but truly it makes up for all the other times of weekends that you're not allowed to trade regular stocks and bonds and ETFs and all that mamma jamma. So that's pretty good. You can continue to see your money grow throughout the weekend. And if you're like me, you like to just see numbers moving up and down. It doesn't matter the direction. As long as something's moving, it's doing good. Um, so second of all, there's a lot of variety. Now, that can honestly be super duper, like, thwarting off. Um, not thwarting off, but threatening to a lot of new crypto investors. Like, we're going down, like, this first list here on crypto, um market cap and on the first list there's a hundred different cryptos and there's 41 different pages so that's 4,100 different cryptocurrencies that there are in the world and some of them are little um derivatives from like bitcoin ethereum a lot of them are derivatives from ethereum and there are very good options out there chain link um ave compound and ethereum itself i mean as well as bitcoin but you know that's kind of just a household name now you should have a little bit of bitcoin even if it's just 50 100 dollars 200 dollars it doesn't matter how much you have you should at least have a solid foundation in bitcoin it's very similar to the gold standard of just cryptocurrency and one of the main things to look out for is circulating supply now we know with dogecoin how massive popular and the hype is with it but it has an infinite amount of circulating supply and more is being created by the boatloads every single day being pushed into the market so the price gets super diluted people continue to put in more money price gets diluted and it's just a never-ending battle and it will end sorry not never-ending battle It'll end in millions of dollars lost once it goes back down to a fraction of a fraction of a penny. So that's something to look out for circulating supply. But even with Ethereum, the supply is infinite. But I haven't done my research on it, but like I'm pretty sure they let out very small batches of Ethereum. I'll do research on it. I'll let y'all know. So when we're looking at circulating supply... A lot of these cryptocurrencies are nearing their max supply with their circulating supply because of how long they've been out in the market. And the closer that they get to the max supply, the higher the prices are going to be just because supply and demand. Less supply, more demand. You know, so prices are going to go up and all that fun stuff. So get it while it's maybe... 45% the way there, 75% the way there. Bitcoin right now is 88.67% of the way to max supply. Uh, max supply is 21 million. Circulating is 18.6 million. So that's something to look out for. Obviously, get yeah, Bitcoin. It's a staple, staple in the economy. So I um, recommend a chain link. It has about 405 million circulating max supply 1 billion so it's going to continue to grow and it's not even halfway there it's 40 percent the way there we look at ave and it's 12 million 12.3 million circulating 16 max supply and there's just so much research that you can do and you can't even do it all in one day you can kind of skim through everything look at 
all of them, but really, it takes time, takes weeks. But as long as you get your foot in the door with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, chances are when you're doing your research, you'll be able to pull from Bitcoin and Ethereum when they go up, put them into different cryptocurrencies, and your portfolio will continue to expand day after day. Now, you can easily make a very balanced portfolio because of the variety. Like I said, Chainlink, Aave, Compound, Ethereum. These are going to be one of the bigger players in this space. There's some rumors going around with Chainlink, Aave, and Compound that are going to fuse. But just rumor, just speculation. I don't know a whole lot about it because it's just word of word of ear, I guess. So there was one time where the entire week prices fluctuated so heavily, but I was still going up just because I was very balanced. And at the time I had a whole bunch of crypto, but I've recently consolidated. So prices are definitely fluctuating a lot more in the directions, dragging my portfolio down just a little bit. But as soon as you kind of get a foothold of everything that you want, then you can kind of branch off. And y'all know how it is building your portfolio. And the final thing, so those were my three that like why you should invest. And this last one is kind of what to look out for. So fees are relevant in the crypto market. So with Robinhood, you got Webull, you got Fidelity, you've got M1 Finance, little to no fees. And if there's fees, it's probably ETFs that charge you just a bit or you're paying for the premium service of the app or brokerage that you're with and you're paying $5, $7 a month type thing to get a level two freaking insight and little uh, analytics of different stocks. So with fees, especially with Coinbase, buying, putting money in under $25 isn't worth it. I would say if you can put more than 50, if you can put more than 100, um, but at the very least more than 50. So fees for $50 for Coinbase is $1.99. So you can be walking out of there with $48.01 if you pay $50. But if you're paying $100, it's going to be $2.99. So, I mean, less than half, but, you know, it's still, what, a 2.99% off of your money right there. I mean, you can easily get that back in a day, but honestly, that's kind of large. So that'll be it for the video. You know, we covered 24 hour market trading, um, a lot of variety, a lot of varieties, a lot to choose from. It can be very daunting when you're getting into the space. Um, you can make a very balanced portfolio because of it. As long as you do your research and due diligence, you're gonna be able to just have a very strong portfolio that'll grow with you months, years. And then finally the fees, you know, super expensive, but as long as you are putting in a lot of money at one time and not just doing $10 transactions here and there, then you're gonna be set. Alrighty, so that was the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed it, write down below what you, what you enjoyed about the video. Alrighty, y'all have fun.